What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we're going to be learning how to improve performance on Hogwarts Legacy for the PC. So I'm not the original finder, however, I am going to have a link in the description down below if you guys want to read it yourself on the original Reddit page, but this is going to be exactly how to plug in all the information. So you want to open up your folder here. Now where it says home, just type in local and then click enter. It'll automatically search for everything. You're looking for users, whatever your computer's called. For example, mine's called gamer and you want to go into app data. Now you scroll down and look for Hogwarts Legacy. From inside of here, you click on saved, configs, windows, no editor. And this is where you can find the engine I and I like they're talking about over here. If you guys haven't changed an I and I before, basically this is going to be the main root of the game that reads it. However, if you do something wrong in it, it's just going to automatically go back to the default. So it's not like anything in the game will actually be horribly affected if you do mess it up. So don't worry about changing things. We're going to just copy and paste exactly how he has it. Brackets are basically how the game is able to read itself. So we just scroll all the way down to the very bottom and copy and paste this line of code. We're just going to put everything in here. One of the fixes improves it. He wasn't sure which one. However, it doesn't hurt to have everything in here anyways. So just paste it in here like so. It'll be read down here at the bottom and you'll notice it's going to be system settings. You can have a space here if you want to, or you can just click the backspace and have everything lined up like it was originally. Now, one of the main fixes that you can also do, but is completely dependent on your hardware. If you have a graphics card that has a higher VRAM capabilities, you are able to increase the pool size up to 4096, which should help a little bit more, but make sure your graphics card can handle it before you do that, because if not, it'll hurt your performance severely. All right, so the pool size is going to be down here at the very bottom. So they recommend doing 4096 and playing it up from there, depending on your graphics card. Some will be a little bit higher, some will be a little bit lower. As long as you have above eight gigabytes of VRAM, you should be able to increase it. Now that we've made all the changes inside of the engine I and I, just click on save. All your changes should be good to go. Let me know if this fix helped you guys on Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.